We're talking about Colorado and, and the, the defense have some good young defensemen. Let's just talk about the Leafs. And again, Phil, we talked before about Victor Hedman. We're looking at some of the Leaf defense in particular. Uh, Randy made a decision the other night to sit out one of the young defensemen, a guy they paid a ton of money to last year. Um, Jake Gardner. Jake Gardner. Okay, so, I mean, they like Stu Percy, the way he's playing right now. He looks like he's a fairly intelligent player. He makes very good outlet passes, like the first pass getting out of their zone, which is a huge problem last year. He seems to make these smart first passes. Jake Gardner is amazing at making these, let's say, like these long passes, but he seems at times not to be as mentally aware of the game. Maybe Stu Percy's maybe a, a smarter hockey player, not necessarily a smarter person. So, again, Phil, you, you were a coach. You've and got all it. of them are smarter than the captain. Well, <laughs> we're not even talking about the, <laughs> the captain's another situation because they've reduced a lot of his minutes. They, it's funny the situation right now where you've got you rolling four lines and some of their better players aren't getting the minutes that they used to get because, again, you've de developed this philosophy that you've taken out some of these tough guys, so now you have room to have four lines. You want to roll four lines, but some of the guys, like a guy like Lupul, may not be getting the same type of minutes. So maybe, again, both you guys can address it. Uh, what do you think so far about what they're doing with the Leafs? Well, first off, I want to ask, where's Jake Gardner from? Like, where's he born? Was Minnesota. He on, where? Minnesota. He's a guy they got from, I think it was, was it Anaheim that got him in a trade? They got him and Lupo for yeah. uh, Francois Beauchemin, one of the great one-sided trades of all history, because Anaheim thought Lupo was finished, and they just wanted the Leafs to take the contract. Now, Burke will tell you differently, but it wasn't differently. Well, yeah, I mean, the guy, he, he's had some physical problems there, health issues in Anaheim. He's had health issues here in Toronto. Some of them were just fluke plays, but, I mean, this is a kid, when he's playing at his potential, he is a quality goal scorer. Um, but again... Very talented player. Yeah, yeah. So, Very talented. And, and Jake Gardner, is, uh, I think, is one of these defensemen that is very offensive-minded, good skater. He, he handles the puck very well. But they're really looking at this kid, Percy. And uh, uh, the kid has played well, so maybe uh, Percy plays and one of the other guys will sit out. Jake, Jake you know, Gardner. Morgan, what's his name? Riley. 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 I think he's, they, only, he's only 20. They're never going to get, I don't think they're ever going to bench Riley because this, what I said before, he seems to be a very intelligent hockey player. That's, that's the criticism I would have of Jake Gardner, who played very well in the Boston series you know, when they went the full seven games, I thought he had taken his game to the next level, and then to start off the season, he regressed. He's just, I don't know whether it's within playing for Randy Carlisle, it's just not working, whether he's one of these kids, if he was in a totally different situation away from Toronto, you know, he'd be able to play his game. He just seems like he's not rising uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a plateau in terms of his ability. Well, I, I, I mean, I've watched him play a lot, and uh, if Phil did, Phil would probably say, you know, this kid would make a great center iceman. He's, he's a very, he's got great puck sense. He sees the game well, but as a defenseman, he does not gain any confidence from the coach, and I understand why. But, you know, sometimes you have to put up with some of their little peccadillos, and we're talking about one right now, Victor Hedman. He didn't start off like he was going to be a superstar, but he was developing. How old is Hedman now, Phil? He's 22, I think. 23. Just turned 23. 23, yeah. This is his fifth year. Or is, yeah. Fifth. I mean, you know, defensemen, as Phil knows a lot better, don't develop into their real uh, strength position until they're 24, 25. And it can't. Right. I mean, you have exceptions to the rule. Yeah. Bobby comes to mind, but uh, most other human beings take a long time. Yeah. Now, you just mentioned we'll go way back in time here with the Red Kelly, where Red Kelly was a defenseman, punch him, like put him up you know, as a forward, and he did incredibly well. It's got to take a lot of balls for a coach to decide, you know what, I think the kid would be better as a forward. And, and the adjustment that the defense would have to make in terms of playing the back end his whole life, now he's playing at forward. So if they decide, and Bill, you're not the only person who said it, other people have said that as well. Uh, to make that decision to convert him into a forward, I mean, how much of a challenge would that be? Well, first of all, the Leafs 
will never win until they have some form of a big centerman who plays big. Yeah. Bill knows that. That's what changed the Bruins around. They took Phil Esposito from Chicago and uh, decided that he wasn't a 20-goal scorer. He was a 50-goal scorer or he was a 70-goal scorer because he was big. He was in front of the net and he had great hands. And I'm telling you that Gardner is big. He'll play in front of the net. He's got great hands and he can pass. He, he's a, and he, he can sit and, or he can really skate. Uh, Jim Locke knew that about Kelly. He could do whatever he had to do to accommodate Frank Mahovlich and whom, Bob Nevin or whomever he was playing with. And you have to make a commitment to a kid like Gardner. You have to say, and, and now they got all these defensemen, maybe now is the time. I don't know. But you're right, Perry. It takes a lot of balls to convince, uh, to switch a, a kid who's a centerman, uh, or pardon me, who's a defenseman, to a centerman.